Yes, today Africa is welcoming this report um, with great joy and uh, great interest. The, rep the report is very ambitious and uh, we are really expecting, after Mr. Macron's uh, speech in Ouagadougou, we're expecting things to move quite fast uh, next year probably. Uh, so today um, it's a first step, but it's an important step because today most of our heritage is in European museums. Uh, Africa has been departed from 90% or 95% of its heritage. So today we see the opportunity to get it back and finally have access to our history. But how difficult is that process going to be? It's going to be very difficult and we don't deny that. Uh, we understand it's been um, since colonization that we are, uh, we've been looking for our past, our history. Um, but today it seems possible. That's a very, very big change. But why is it possible today as opposed to before? It's possible because Mr. Macron has the political power to change things. And uh, as we heard um, in the subject just now, um, the law, the French law, uh, made it impossible for us to ask uh, African heritage because it was in the French national collection and you can't remove any art from the national collection. But today the report says there is a way. We can think about a way uh, for Africa to... Uh, and what is that way? What, what is it actually going to involve? Uh, it's going to involve probably uh, a vote and uh, the law will probably go to parliament and uh, it's, there will be a change in the heritage code, mm -hmm. French heritage code. And uh, so we're waiting uh, from Benin, we are waiting uh, to see uh, what's happening. Because I want to ask you about Benin in particular because you're the daughter of the former prime minister and the report recommends one of the first things is that artefacts be returned to, uh, from, stolen from Abame, be returned to Benin, um, something which uh, Benin has requested. Just how significant is that for the country of Benin? Well, it's a good thing we speak uh, from the African point of view, because if you're a young child today in Africa, you're nine years old, you need to build yourself, your identity, to know where you're going. Where do you do that? Where can you see your history? How can you be proud of what happened before you? How do you know what happened before you? Nowhere. We need uh, these objects to come back to Abome uh, because we need uh, our young generation to understand where she comes from. And that's the major uh, revolution in the, in the report and in uh, Macron's uh, way of uh, looking at uh, the restitution. So today we're really expecting uh, that the object would come back in Abome uh, in a year or so. And so like this, our generation will be able to, to build itself. An with its history. It's an extraordinary move, as you're saying. Thank you very much, uh, Marie-Cécile Zenzou.